Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Now, before I begin, I just have to say that being a Kappa Leaguer is one of the most unforgettable experiences in my own life, possibly my life altogether. I have um, most literally grown up with every gentleman here, and everybody behind them has had a significant hand in raising me. And to that, I have to say thank you. Because from this experience, I've learned how to inherit the earth, and how to make better use of it, and how to make better use of myself for that earth. So to all of you in this room, I have to say, a thank you that can not only be expressed in words, but a thank you that is going to be expressed through my soul and through my future endeavors. So thank you. <laughs> okay, so now this poem is a little something that I wrote for uh, graduation. I'm not the graduation speaker at um, Highlands Ridge High School, however, I will be uh, delivering this very poem uh, for the senior banquet so you guys get a little bit of a sneak peek. So, hope you guys enjoy. I did not have a single pimple until I entered high school. Prior to then, my face, forehead, nose, character, cheek, chin, and attitude were free from blemishes, or at least at that time I did not care to notice. And prior to high school, I would stretch my imagination to Neverland and shoot my prayers and wishes towards rushing stars, hoping that my fairy tale would lay before me in the morning. You see, at this time, the future was almost guaranteed because in middle school, students wear their naivety like the suits of an American soldier dressing up to go to war, determined to never grow up, never get old, never to hit the never to hit the burden of puberty so as to avoid the awkward blemishes of a high school pimple. So it came to no surprise when these middle school soldiers marched right into high school, only to be befitted by the necessity of proactive. You see, it is in high school where the suit of augmented youth becomes torn and retired for a more casual clothing under the occasion of jobs, tests, mundane quizzes, Thursday lunch specials, parent portal, homecoming dresses, Friday night football games that you hear. Last night, is there a curve on this test? I don't associate with Stone. Says she gained 10 pounds. Dude, my parents suck. She cheated on him. Guess what's cancer? This weekend is going to be awesome. <laughs> but little did we know that many of us would be coerced to hang our childhood in our closets, only to allow dust and mold to climb into the crevices of our fondest memories, where many of us would retire fantasies, hopes, and dreams for stress between cliques and personal appearance. <clears throat> and the effort you place to be accepted now replaces your desire to become a fireman. You see, these pimples, these, these blemishes, these zits, these scars sprouting on your face are really the awkward forms of adulthood desperately trying to bubble up to the surface. Its presence is awkward and uncanny, like a stomach that shoots vomit up the esophagus, like a rocket ship only to settle in the mouth and to spray on an empty canvas. For that may account for a lot of the spiteful, reverberating words that I hear in this hallway. Yet, it is the same vomiting maturity that is to account for, this, for, for some of the most beautiful and awkward and uncanny moments I've ever seen in my young life. On this curve of maturity, many of, us are, <clears throat> many of us turn our words into poems, and our teardrops turn into watercolors, and our stifled emotions become schizophrenic movements that become the form of uh, the most incredible athletics I've ever seen. We at times can see no, long, no further be beyond the reaches of our own hand, and in knowing the approaching waves of adulthood, we decide to bask in the present, imagining and romanticizing with our own epic tale of a future that has never been. But when these pimples pop, the remnants of that bulging mass accelerates to the stars to which we once whispered our dreams. The pus, blood, and growing pains of high school blemishes fly through the deepest corners of possibilities and mixes and swirls with the rings of Saturn and splashes into the eye of Jupiter. Our changing adolescent minds evolve and become alien to the world which once coddled us. Well, my fellow Martians, my aliens. Remember to leap to the universe, to the farthest reaches of tangible grasp. Extend your spaceships to other planets and infest it with your curiosity. 
Let your childhood, let your childish tendencies wane and your childhood fantasies wax, never allowing yourself to inhibit the understanding of a high school blemish. Thank you.